Hi, this is DXR2, and today I'm going to show you how to hack your Wii and install the homebrew channel. Before you start, you need to make sure your Wii version is below 4.1. We will not be able to follow this guide. You can do that by going to Wii System Settings, and in the top right corner, it'll say your system. Also, for this guide, you need a few things. You'll need a Wii and a computer, obviously. Also, you need an SD card. It has to be 2 gigs or less, unless you have Wii version 4.1. You'll also need an SD card reader to plug into your computer, and you'll need the hacks I'll be going over later. Now plug your SD card into your computer, and go to Computer, and find the SD card, right-click on it, and go down to Format. You have to format it to FAT, F-A-T. Note that this will erase everything on it, so if you have anything important on it, back it up. Click Start and OK. This should take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll just skip ahead. Okay, now that's done formatting, just click OK. And close that out. Now go to your internet browser and we need to install some files. I'll have two links in the description. One will be for Boot Me. Download that first. And just save it to anywhere. You don't need WinRAR, but that's what I'm using. You can just unzip it normally. After Boot Me is saved, go to the other link in the description and download the files. It should be called Banner Bomb. Unzip the files normally, just save it anywhere. Now after you installed both files, you need to go back to your SD card, go to computer, and select the drive your SD card is in, open it up, and go to wherever you saved the files you downloaded, and open up the boot me folder. There should be a file in there called boot.elf, copy and paste it into the SD card. Now just exit out of this, you don't need any of the other files in there. Go to the other file you downloaded, there should be a folder called private, copy and paste it into the root of your SD card. After you have those two files copied to your SD card, you need to make four new folders. Name one apps, in all lowercase. Name one wads, in all lowercase. Name one codes in all lowercase. And name one themes in all lowercase. And this is it for the computer part. Now onto the Wii part. Okay, before you plug your SD card into your Wii, you need to turn Connect 24 off. Go to your Wii settings in the bottom left corner. Scroll over and then click Wii Connect 24. And make sure you to turn it off and just hit confirm. Go back to the Wii menu. Now insert your SD card into the Wii. Go to Wii Options, Data Management, Channels, and then 
go to the tab that says SD card in the top right then this message will pop up just click yes and when prompted just click one now you'll get the homebrew channel install menu make sure everything can be installed if not you're gonna have to install boot me as an ios which is fine click dvdx and install it click continue and then go to install the homebrew channel install it click continue then install boot me install it as a boot too if it said you could on the first screen it probably will but if not install as an ios which is fine after that you successfully hacked your Wii go back to the Wii menu and check it out so this is the homebrew channel for you it'll just be bubbles have fun popping the bubbles for now but in my next video I'll show you how to get some apps for it and that's what homebrew is just launches apps and uses the apps to hack Make sure to subscribe, 